good night, good night, good night, Facebook. Good night, good night, good night. Give family. And I'll say it again. As soon as some more persons or some persons comes on. We place you at the highest place for you. You are the great high priest. We place you, Lord, high above. All else is Lord, above all else, as we come to you and worship at your feet, we place you at the highest place. For you, for you, Lord, you are the great high priest. We place you, Lord, I above all else, above all else, as we come to you and worship at your feet wanna be and wanna be where you are dwelling in your presence and feasting at your table surrounded by your glory in your presence that's where I always want to be. be I just want to be with you I want to be where you are dwelling in your presence Feasting at your table, I'm surrounded by your glory, Lord, in your presence. And that's where I always want to be. I just want to be with you. I want to be where you are, dwelling in your presence. I'm feasting at your table, oh Lord, surrounded by your glory, in your presence. That's where I always want to be. I just want to be with you. Lord, I love you, Lord. And I lift my voice to all. You, my soul, with joy I sing. To you I sing, make it a sweet, sweet sound to you. I love you. And I lift my voice to worship you, oh my Lord, with joy I sing.
sweet, sweet sound, O oh Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for tonight. We thank you for all that you have done. We thank you for all that you are about to do. Lord, whatever is wrong, we pray tonight that you will make it right. Lord, we are nothing without you. We have never been anything without you, God. Even when we think we are something, we are nothing, God, without you. And so, God, that simply means that we are somebody, but only in you, God. You said our righteousness is as filter rags. It means that, Lord, we are imperfect without you, but we are perfected in you. Help us, mighty God, tonight. And as the teaching, the word goes forth from your Holy Spirit, from the realm of the Spirit, that God, you will pour out through me to your people in the name of Jesus Christ, that eyes may be open, blind eyes may be open, deaf may, be, may hear God, and that those that lose their spiritual sense, God, they will be able to sense again. They will be able to smell in the spirit, see in the spirit, hear in the spirit. Father, I pray that this topic tonight, Lord, will not, will not scare people, but it will bring forth clarity, it will bring forth understanding, it will bring forth revelation. In the name of Jesus, tonight we are in truth revealed. And the only truth we know that can reveal to us is your word, is is the teaching from the realm of the spirit that your Holy Spirit inspired. Lord, open our eyes tonight. Let even I myself as the teacher tonight, God. I'm not the teacher. You are the teacher, but as the one you place to give, bring the word, God. I pray that even I myself will learn by your spirit tonight in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus. Amen. Good night, Facebook. Good night, gift family. And those that are not those that will watch after good night good day good morning whenever you will see this video a blessing to you in the name of jesus now watch this tonight we want to talk about something very important you have seen the topic it has been promoted um you know i often open with this i was just saying to one of my colleagues in the faith that we are not really excited to hear teaching anymore or we are not so much excited something that i recognize that the church struggle with we we are not exciting to hear teaching we are exciting to hear shouting and all of this and music are playing at the background and you tear out your eyes so and say ma 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 and these type of things we are used to that right and this is no shades to other preachers i'm just saying that's what we used to but really and truly our eyes need to be open now i often say this and it is true we do not suffer by things we don't know sorry by things we know we suffer by things we don't know in other words the bible said lack of knowledge caused my people to perish god never disowned them he said my people they suffer. I might me, me build them, me make them, me create them. But they're suffering because they refuse to listen to my word. They refuse to study it. They refuse to take it when they get it. They like the things that let them feel good and all of that. Now, this, mess, this teaching tonight might make you feel good because it will expose some stuff. Good night, um, bro God. What's up? How you doing? Now, we're going to talk about discerning ancestral witches witchcraft and occultism you really want to hear this tonight so don't upon and up off and whatever but if you have a run you listen to next time because it's important yeah so we're discerning i'm going to teach you tonight to discern ancestral um witches witchcraft and the occultism now some people may not know this and some may not want to acknowledge but the the world of witchcraft is real as steel the occultism is real as steel but before i can go into any deep stuff because i promise you i'm going to some deep stuff before i can go there i want to break down this 
two words in syllables first to break the meaning. Some of you may be acquainted with what a witch is or what witchcraft is and also the occult. But let me give you the meaning. A witchcraft. Witchcraft is the practice of magic. Especially for what? For evil purposes. Mm -hmm. It's the use of spells. Spells. Listen. It's a form of sorcery. Black magic. Black hearts. The occult. The occultism. Or wizard. Wizard. Magician. That side of the thing, right? That side of the thing. Also, I said the occult is similar. It's mystical. It's supernatural. It's of magical powers, practices. Yeah, things like that. It's it's magical. It's 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 mystic. So it's abnormal. It's basically the dark sense of Power. That's what the occult and witchcraft is. The dark sense of power. It is power for real. Some go educate some people. It's power for real. So when you have the Obermann out there, the witch doctor and the warlock and those people and them say they can help you, like the astrologers and all of those, they have their thing that they practice for real. They have the power for real. Can they help you? They can help you the way you need to be helped, which is Jesus' way. But really and truly, they will give you some form of help. Mm -hmm. But after this teaching, I promise that those who go to the Obia man and those who go to the witch doctor and the warlock and practice occult will definitely understand some stuff tonight. People's eyes will be will even be open. Now let me let me say this. There are some people you never do anything, you know. Maybe you commit a little sin and then look at something. And that's not what I'm talking about. We all sin and come short of the glory of God. And sometimes preachers, because they don't have spiritual senses, some of them will tell you that, well, a sin is sin, you need to repent. Some things has nothing to do with repentance. It has nothing to do with you sinning. What it has to do with is it that this is why I, 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 I edit the topic like that. Ancestral witch, witchcraft, occultism. So it has to do with whether your granny was a witch. Your great great granny, your great granny, your mother your great grandfather, your great 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 grandfather, your father, and those type of stuff. Your cousin by your father's side, way back. Your fifth cousin, cause we like stretch out family thing, you know. Your 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 great 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 grandmother from way back from Wapi Kill Philip themselves. Yeah? Maybe the one that practice some form of witchcraft or occult and guess what happened now you know came along you knew nothing about it and it affect you it affect you it affect your children it affect your family it affected you now I can speak like this because I believe that there are some persons in every family that is experiencing, or almost every family that is experiencing these type of curse. Now, what you call these spirits when you never involve and never you do nothing, you call these spirits, or we could call them then, let us call them the collectors. Let us call them the collectors. Now, when you hear the collector, you're hearing like a bailiff. <laughs> You borrow something from courts and they send collector to come collect back. Or you borrow a loan from somewhere and they send collector to collect back. Or you borrow something from somebody and they send back for it. Now these spirits, we're going to call them the collectors. Because what happened is that you never do anything wrong and your ancestors them. Yeah? 
cut deal in the past with some form of spirit. And now you are getting the recuperation, right? You are the one now reaping the, the wickedness of that punishment. You are the one now the collectors come back to, to collect. And you may be the father of a child or the mother of a child and sometimes those spirits come at that child as well. Those collectors come back, they are demons from the occult world and because of the deal that was made. Now, I don't care how much you can pray. God, God no care how much you can pray. Either. It doesn't matter then. Let me say it this way. It doesn't matter how much you can pray. You can't pray away this thing. You can't just rub up, 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 up and do all that. You can't. No. It won't. Before I go into it biblically and people start to strike me, let me just bring some wisdom to your thought. Think about this. The church has been around for decades. Decades. Long time. The church has been burnt. And I'm pretty sure that there are several Christians. Because up to this day we have ignorant Christians. And the Bible said that we must not be ignorant of the devices of Satan. Now if the Bible said that we must, be, we must not be ignorant of the devices of Satan. What is the Bible saying to us? We must not be a fool to what Satan can do. We must not take him lightly for what he can do. Because last week when we were teaching on the other um, topic. Yeah. When I was teaching last week, I brought this forth in the topic. I said, this evil Satan has over 5,000 plus experience in wickedness. Who is you? We're well, probably just 30 year old, 40, 25, 20. 18, 31, 32. Who is you with a little, you never pass, you never reach 100. And even if you have somebody who will reach 100, it's still not even the mill. <laughs> no, we are match up to the experiences that Satan have. Man of God, why sound like you have big up Satan? Me? No, not doing that. I'm bringing light to us so that we won't be ignorant. Because yes, we know Satan evil. Yes, we know him and the accuser and the virgin. Yes, we know that we must fight and be brave against all evil. But we want to be wise with it. Because you need to recognize that the evil have them job for do. So the good, the good need to know what their job is. And how to go about it. Now, when somebody go to a loan company to borrow a loan. I've got to go borrow something from somebody. Don't expect that if you don't pay, they may go come collect one way or the other. Once they can't find you, they may go come collect. Some people change their address, some people do all kind of stuff. They are going to collect because they have what they call in their system a collector. And that collector is coming to collect. So that's how it happened in the natural. The loan officer send out them, collect them, bill it for come collect what belongs to them, what belongs to their company that you borrow. It was loaned to you, it was lent to you. That's how it is in the occult world. Your family, your ancestor, maybe them dead and gone already. <clears throat> right? Maybe some still alive. They cut some from a deal because it can't happen without a deal. Something of a go on, some deal it have to make, and it was made. And maybe the promise was made to okay, every firstborn girl in our family, we want them soul once them born, and then cut that the deal. Eh? Some cut deal consciously and unconsciously. No, remember, Satan is a deceiver, so there's no way one will cut a deal consciously. Well, let me correct that. Yes. You do have people that definitely tell themselves, a evil may go do. And a evil may practice. I'm, I'm going to cut the deal. You do. So those collectors, when they come to collect, you can't pray that way. Because it was a, when the loan people come to you, they can't say, Robo, bo, 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 bo. Or the Lord will fight for me. I know some of you dear that you will testify, say, re, 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 just talk it through to your teeth. You are a thief. <laughs> you are a thief. You're going to tell me that the good, good God 
who is in heaven will be okay with you just stealing from people. No. Nope. Absolutely not. So that those loan officers are going to come back to collect. And when them come, you can't pray them away. You can't bat them up. You can't none of that. I mean you can. But it must work. When you're done, then still have to say, All right, you're done. Collection. Oh, we can make the arrangement. That's what they're up to. This is how these collectors' spirit work. When they come, you pray. Do you know why the prayer is not going to work? Because in the spirit realm, it's a code, it's an order. Now think about it with your wise little brain. Right? Let me help you to open it up. Satan, if, if the evil Satan who have the evil power, and we know we have a powerful God, why the powerful God does not strike him and get rid of him completely? We don't have to fight, we don't have to labor, we don't have to do none of this. Think about it. Think about it. Let wisdom speak. Do not be ignorant of the devices of the devil. Which means you must be wise. You must know of the circle debts. You must know of it. It's great now. You're going to say, then how do we circle death with the occult world? With the witchcraft that our ancestors do? Now they are ways. Because the debt must be paid. <laughs> they are ways. But it must be paid. Now I never you cut the deal. So that's now when you're going to approach. Because there's a way now how God teaches you to deal with it. Because these things are evil. They must be dealt with. They must be corrected. They must be destroyed. Because they are going to come. And when they come, you must be ready. Now let us get a little bit deeper. Alright? We're going to look at Deuteronomy 18 and I'm going to look at um, from verse 9 go down. Deuteronomy 18, open your Bible, find it. We're going to look at verse 9, going down. Now, this is what it says. When thou art come into the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee, thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations of those nations. What are those abominations that the Lord is speaking about? Because abomination are things that discuss God. They are sin, they are abomination, they are iniquity. The three of them are alike. They are distinct, but they are not the same. The three of them were mentioned somewhere in Psalms, I believe, as well. But I want to say this to you. Abomination, wickedness, um, iniquity, which is wickedness, and uh, sin are not the same. They are distinct. Distinct means they are similar. They are similar, but they are not the same. Iniquity is the birthplace for sin. Which means if you get rid of iniquity, you won't have a sin. But if you do not get rid of iniquity, that's where sin will keep birthing. Remember, sin does not have an S. So it's not multiple where the word is concerned. But really and truly, sin is plural. It is. Because you have lie, you have thief, you have fornication. There are different types of sin. So they are plural. There are many types of sin. But in a nutshell, sin is sin. But sin is only birthed from iniquity. Because first, you have to have a bad thought. You have to develop a bad idea in your head. That is the iniquity part of you. That's your iniquity. Notice the Bible said that iniquity was found in Lucifer when he was in heaven. Iniquity. The Bible never said sin. It said iniquity. Which means iniquity now birth sin. It, it develops something in him now to commit something that he shouldn't have committed. Now notice you have some sins and God didn't categorize sins, but you have some sins that the truth is they are just more wicked. That's the one you call abominate, abomination. It's an abominable sin. For example, I can lie. It is still sin. And that man is a homosexual. It is still sin. However, God said the one that is a homosexual, that's an abomination. It will sound biased to some people like so oh, so I see him wicked thing. 
the lie me have sex with bottom. What the difference? No, that's an abomin that's an abominable sin. God is disgust of that. Isn't God God is disgust of all sins? Yes. Are you saying that they are worse sin? I am deliberately saying that they are worse sin. Sin that will birth more sin. Sin plus sin equal more sin sin. Yeah, it birth more. So iniquity is the birthplace for sin. Once iniquity is found in you, expect all kind of sins to come after. If you if you get rid of iniquity, you're keeping sins dormant in you. They cannot be activated. But note this. Sin is within every man. In the human nature. In the human nature, sin is within every man. So it is possible for you to tell lie. It is possible for, for you to thief. It is possible for you to fornicate. It is possible for you to lust. It is possible because it is within your flesh. But when you keep it dormant, and there are ways, your pastors teach you many ways how to keep them dormant. And they are right. Fasting, prayer, etc. The word of God, keep focus, worship, all of that. Yeah. Some for some people one work better than oh yeah, the one work for the other. Yeah. But this is what God says in Deuteronomy. He said, Do not learn to do after the abominations of those nations. What are those abominations the Lord was referring to? Let us get into them. <clears throat> there shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire. To pass through the fire. What that mean? Because you have people in those days and in these days too that Pass them picnic through fire. That's a form of witchcraft. But I don't want to rush it, you know. Let me take my time. It also said, or that use it divination, mm -hmm. or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch. So all of these are different functionality. All of these are different functions or functionality of an evil one, a witch doctor. Uh, astrologer, observer of time or astrologer because they believe they can look into some form of crystal ball and tell you your past, your present and your future and I kid you not I kid you not some of them can do it but guess what, God never say they can't, God never say them, them not going to do it them do it and they can do it but it's abominable. Why? Because these people go up against God. They run up against God. They seek their own God. They get their information from the dead. Yeah? From the dead. And I'm not talking about your good, good mother that was in Christ and died. Who is apparently a angel now. Yeah? I'm not referring to that wicked man who is dead and God. I'm talking about a, a, a dead person that is wicked, dire hobby man, dire witch, dire warlock, that sort of a thing. People go to the dead. And if your mom dead and she dead in a Christ or you a pass picking you over the grave and I do these things, it's witchcraft. It's a cult. It said neither were enchanter. What's an enchanter? Hmm? Who you'll go and him talk some language? Hello, shalele, yellelelelo, yellelelele, yellelelo, yeah, yellelelele, yellelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelel
you know it's a witch practice. You know something. I know ramp with them because they will turn you over with green bush and rum. Do not be ignorant of Satan devices. Last week the topic was what? Don't provoke demons. Let me just incorporate it for two seconds. Because some of you like the mess with demon when God never said nothing to mess with demon. And you're going to get yourself messed up. Come back now to this. It may be your mother, it may be your father that does one of these things and got you involved, got your child involved, got your, your niece, your nephew involved into to these things. Them innocent, you innocent, you never do nothing, you know. You just like to be nice and jovial and enjoy your life and you just live and just be free. You just have your little two sin there where you struggle with your little lie where you tell and they look at something them hard. You big lie where you tell them coming on to the say, me I try to put you up sin, you know, cause church people are easy, you know, right? And and you look a you look a girl, you look a spooky when you go check and do you, you look a thing them and sing against God. Me not talk about that. Me I talk about some abominable stuff where your four parents them did do and cast you and sometimes that's why you stay so and that's why the young girl can't do without ten man. Because something wrong and she no know it no normal. Me, you, you wait, me, me won't go down deeper. Right? The practice of divination. That's also involved, or which let me let me continue. He said, or a charmer in verse 11, Deuteronomy 18, verse 11, or a charmer. What's a charmer? What's a charmer? It's the same like a warlock, but that one is more subtle, magic, magician, or a consulter. People who you go to for consult about your problem. And, and think they can solve it as if they are God. That's why you have to be careful because some of you in the church, you turn your pastor into Obia man. Because you are run a carry money go game like with Balak, do to Balaam, saying that you want, you want the man of God to come, come pray out your house. So what wrong with that, Apostle? Nothing wrong with come praying out your house. It's how you approach the men of God. You want them to take your money and that no other make them come. The man of God must refuse it. Anybody who brought money to me to come and pray with them us, I'm giving them back. I'm going to tell them, go and repent and come back. You're doing it the wrong way. That's not how you do it. We know other people. You take <laughs> Some people take pastors to other people. Why pastor? You want to know say one neighbor that give me a problem. You know? I'm a can't stand her. Why you come get rid of her for me? You know? Pass them ever hundred thousand will have much. You have people like that, whether you believe it or not. Whether you believe it or not, there are people that are like that somewhere out there that practice witchcraft. You don't talk to me, man. Talk to me. Talk to me. Type something. Share the life, please. Please share the life. Share it because this is deep. Somebody need to get it. Share it to your family member, your friend, somebody. Share it. And drop a like on the video. The more you do so, people will jump over and say something go on over here. So and then go listen. Go ahead and do that. Like the video. Leave a comment. Good night, Minister Iki. How you doing? Wonderful. Thank you for coming. Share the live, please. And there she goes with commenting. Comment, man. Agree. Say something. Ask question. Whatever. Yeah. So you must not go consult familiar spirit or a consulter with familiar spirit what's a familiar spirit a familiar spirit if you hear the word familiar it means that it has been someone you are acquainted to or with when they were in the physical world they die and you are still acquainting with them you are still having communication with them you still have do these type of things now I want to be careful look at you some people where they love their loved one and their loved one dead and then you can't tell them nothing. Them and the loved one still talk and communicate and them have good conversation in dreams and all of that. People, you're going to have to be careful. Because remember, as I said in the first instance, it all depends how that person die. 
what condition they died in. Did they die safe or unsafe? These things are important so you know what you're communicating with. A familiar spirit now is this is a person who you didn't know good, good, good. Satan took on the identity of that person because you love that person so much and you're so emo you have to be careful of emotions. When you're emotionally connected, these spirits now present themselves to you. So you did love Tony and Tony dead. And you you always I think about Tony and Satan say, Oh, Tony a weakness and Satan took on the identity of Tony you see these things even in movie even in movie but you have people out there who who are you know they were posting on TikTok all about and say God tell them like today I saw a lady say God tell her that these things are you must not support them Netflix Starbucks and oh shut up God never tell you nothing lie lie because me watch Netflix and a whole heap of things me learn. I uh, with a new movie where come out when him um a taste of sin. Netflix put up Christian movie too. It's your choice. You must pick where you wanna watch. Know what your spirit can manage and what your spirit can't manage. Know what to take in. I know what to take. You think me can me go watch something and me for light? Me see man I walk up in a movie. We make a do. Man I got oh, how they like it work. So make a practice of You are a big mature person must know. So these people walking around but God tell them this. They are lying. God wants you to have these experience. God wants you to know these things. Do not be ignorant of Satan devices. That's what the Bible teach me. The dead and the living cannot mingle. Wonderful. Can't. So this now is what you call familiar spirit when they take on the the, the 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 identity of your loved one that died or a friend that died or something like that and and present themselves to you and wreak havoc in your life then you wonder then how me can hold the money how I go on in my life how 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 me house oh, in a so much argument me pity them and me can agree me pity all the liquor for me me, me this is not normal me pity a face it to me sometimes I know you and know your fault you all are trying to do the best you can do is ancestral spirit then did cut some deal behind your back you never know about it so you will say, then man of God, if we never know about it, then God now go, of course God will show your grace. Of course God will come to your defense. Of course you never provoke the demon. Of course God is going to come to you, but you now have to know how to settle that death. Because it has to be paid. The collector is coming and the collector want to be paid for the deal where your four parents make or your four parents' parents or something down the line in your ancestor. It has to be settled. The scripture said that the dead and the living have nothing in common. Thank you very much for that one, brother God. Yeah? It's a familiar spirit. Or a wizard. Not a lizard. A wizard. Or a necromancer. These people are witches, warlocks. They practice voodoos and witches stuff and all of that. We're going to get deeper. You want on? Twelve. For all that do these things are on what? Abomination unto the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord thy God, do it drive them out before thee. So God will drive them out. Thou shall be perfect, verse 13, with the Lord thy God. Thou shall be what? Perfect. Dear, perfection is not something you just get. Perfection is something you practice. Perfection is something you practice and that only comes through God. That's why people say, I mean, I think no what the death for me, because no matter how I try, I can do it. That's the problem. No matter how you try, you don't need to try. You need to do. Me don't need to try, me need to do. If me gonna do good, me just do good. Me not try good, me do good. If I'm gonna be better, I'm gonna have to practice better. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, that that's just it. Alright, so things that shut down believers' lives because what? Someone of your family mess with one of these things. Either your family member did mess with one of them something here. Then go mess with the wizard. I really is that. Then go mess with the necromancer and the necromancer. Then go mess with the familiar spirit. Then go mess with 
the observer of time, then got astrologer. Can I announce on TV and it sound good? You, you know, it's sitting sound good. It sound good on the TV, you know? Ah, you know, I'm be real. Let me be real, because I'm, I'm straight forward. Anybody who know me knows I'm straight up. Let me see on the TV, look good. You have a back foot. Then people are really convincing in our. I tell you, do you have family? The next one was still so the, the universal church people then. Stop suffering. This, that, 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 that. But when you check somebody something, them, really and truly, <laughs> really and truly, some of those things just happen hap hap in your life. Struggle is eminent, my friend. Everybody go through a little hard time from time to time. You know, have to be a, a curse. You know, have to be a, it just be, can be a test that the Lord is seeing. So don't mix up this topic long with you going through a test and then I go blame it on a spirit. Because I know all of your four parents and the Dobia people. Oh God, man. No, nobody blame them. No. <laughs> but at the same time, there are some things that you will know say something just wrong in your life. You just know say, no, sir, this is not so, so, so. Something off wrong. And which one of my family members they know wickedness? Something wrong, you know. That is the thing I'm talking about. That is the thing I'm the message one of them here. The message of which. Then cut some deal with the observer of time. Then go mess with divination. Then practice some form of wizard, wizard um, um, practice. Then practice the occult. Then, then, then do something. They were a farmer witch. May I tell you, they mix in or something. Let us talk about Joseph a little. Joseph, um, Joseph was fortunate. Because I'm using this to show you that you were meant to be fortunate as well. All Joseph did was being faithful and, you know, he boasts about him blessing them and everything. And what happened is that <clears throat> they captured Joseph and brought him to Potiphar's home. And in Potiphar's house, guess what? Joseph prosper in Potiphar's house. That's where he got all the blessing for release upon his family. Notice, Joseph became the chain breaker. Joseph became the chain breaker for his family. Oh, I declare tonight that you will be the chain breaker for your family. I decree tonight that you will observe this topic, will take it very seriously and tell yourself that if there is, if there, there, there has been tonight, this moment, I am sending them back. I'm canceling those deaths. When the collector come, I'm going to settle the deal with the collector. No more. No more of the, the, the family member them. No more of some things that I will outline. Let me just get, get down there. Joseph became fortunate. In the midst of the curse. Man, I got there was a curse. Yes. None of the other brothers could be successful. None of the other brothers could rise. Because what? They were messing with too much. There's a way you also practice wickedness without knowing that you're even practicing it. This is why information is good. Knowledge is basic information. So that's why I said information. When you get knowledge, you're getting information. When you get information, it helps you. You do not suffer by the things you don't you, you, you know. Rather, you suffer by the things you don't know. You're going to suffer by things you don't know. So it's best when you're here, you take it, you write down, you jot down these things because you need to know, you need to know that your granny good at it, Obia woman. You love her, I say, God, me love my granny too. But if she had it, she had it just Obia woman. Me need now to break that spell so that my child don't become a Obia girl. My son don't become a, a warlock. Some of us, 
some of the church that we are in, our pastors are hobby man, witch doctor, voodoo worker, divin diviner, enchanter, and, and, and charmer, and, and consult our familiar spirit, communicating with the dead. Some of them are like this. Some of your prophets that you love so much, they communicate with the dead to get information about you. They practice black magic. Many of them are necromancers. And you need to know. I could go into some more scripture even in Kings. To show you about the necromancers them. The ones that God sent sin and the ones that in the sin. And they do exactly almost everything alike like the real one. Even in Exodus when Moses threw down his rod. The magician threw them for them too, and it turned into a serpent just like Moses won. It tell you that I'm, I'm opening your eyes tonight. To not be ignorant of Satan's de devices. Don't underestimate Satan. I'm not praising him. I'm telling you the truth. Because your pastor, or some of you pastor, won't tell you the truth. So that your eyes may be open. If Kevin Smith never killed some dung a mobile, some, of, some people here would have still lack. Because when they tell them that what your pastor is doing is not right. Open your eyes. You are going to carry you on set. Me a pastor like forever. I'm in a business. A young woman on TikTok post something that the trend that they have going around. I'm a pastor like you know we don't wear pants. I'm a pastor like you know and I and I said, young lady, what you're putting out can be very debatable. So are you sure? You want to say that the way you said it because you're going to come under some scrutiny. And so said, so it was. A lot of persons start to flood her him baps. And all that. you know what she did? She turned off the comment section because she didn't want to continue after she already started to toe to toe with some persons. Right? And they, they are posing these things to say that, you know, then a, a, man, a woman must not wear a man's garment. So I proceed to ask her questions. I said, okay, is this what your pastor teach you or is this something that you study? Because the Bible said, study to show thyself. So your pastor have a duty, but you also have a duty. You think when Jesus comes, you can say, well, I'm a pastor. Jesus going to contest the pastor, yes? Because every man have examined himself. But he's also going to contest you. Did you do your part? Kevin Smith cut off them head down there, make them shut themselves in the church, all of that. So when one like me come, and one like you come, beautiful you, go and tell them what you're doing is not right. Oh, you can't tell me anything my pastor tell me, and I say, go, woman of wear pants, and this, and that. This control and thing, they are serious. Pastors must not be dictators, that's number one. Pastors must not control people. That's number two. When you see those things start happen, be careful. Something is not right. My job, even if the Bible say, don't touch it because it's black. But Sister Juan decided to touch it. That's not my business. My business is to preach the word. I preach the word to Sister Juan. Juan's job is to listen the word. And if Juan refuses to listen to the word, then I can't do anything about it. I can't do anything about it. Juan has to deal with that. My brother God said, it is in the Bible. What exactly are you referring to? I say so many things a while ago. So let me know what exactly you're saying. So I can confirm <clears throat> or rebut. Right? So Juan need to know the truth. Because the Bible said that the truth sets us free. So we get involved in things when we never do a research. Don't take everything that I say. Go and read because I guarantee you if you do that, you'll realize how true of a man of God a pastor Campbell is. I always tell people that. Stop, look at the outer me. Stop, pay attention to the me me. Pay attention to the inner me. What I'm teaching you is, is straight up biblical, evidential, spiritual connected things that you need to know that you need to learn because really and truly that's how we get ourselves in problems and I never want to trouble that part they come in our command and up scrutiny by somebody clergymen God bless them soul but the truth is 
especially the some of the the, the, the leaders and the apostolics and stuff you you really need to scale it down a little and, and look within look within because I'm not saying that you shouldn't preach the truth you should I'm not saying that you can teach it if it's in the word you should but if the person don't practice it on your timing don't kill them don't show what pandemic in the church don't say that them wicked because of this and don't say because them wicked because don't be a controller don't be a dictator don't be don't be a narcissist don't don't have your thing and they, if they not do it then a problem and i'm have to sit on a back bench and stop it because the church don't belong to because of the topic we are on i want you to know that the more you practice that you become like kevin Smith, which makes you become a necromancer you become somebody evil that is practicing something other than what god gave oh you said a woman must not dress like a man of course we know that a woman must not dress like a man but the young lady was referring to pants and there's no evidence in the bible that points out about pants not one scripture in Deuteronomy it says a woman must not wear that which is pertaining to a man but they say pants which the Bible did not outline whether it's pants um, and pants um, it didn't right so one would now need to go and look what pertain it to a man because we know that some pants a woman wear man could never wear because it does not have a masculine look and some pants that the man wear have a, have a masculine look and the woman should not wear that type of pants, right? But you have pants will be feminish, right? In those days, pants wasn't even in existence. So, you would have said the man them are wear what pertained to a woman then because we were gone, look like frack and stuff like that. So, it's about dissecting. So, we know that underpants was not made for women. So, a woman must not wear underpants or brief. But she has something named panty, a man who don't wear panty because it have a feminine look. So you will know because everything has a look based on how society sets it. Now, if it was then, you, if they means a panty name and um, brief, you would know same way you don't wear panty because it look good for you. But <laughs> you wouldn't know. It's just a, a specimen of the mind. You know? So they really and truly don't have any evidence for that. It's in the book of Timothy. No. Send me the scripture of it in the book of Timothy that a woman must not wear a pants. You'll never find that. Never. Never. I pay you I pay ten thousand dollars right now if you show me that specific scripture that says a woman must not wear pants. I want to see that. It's not there. It's not there. Right? But that's not what we're really talking about tonight. I want to use that as an example to show that that is not something that is biblical. Yet because of one scripture, they turn it around and make it becomes gospel. It's not gospel. It's not gospel. Because one more thing, I'm going to move on from this. In Deuteronomy to Brother God, in Deuteronomy, the Bible also talks about mixing materials. Don't mix silk with cotton and these things. So if that was the case, may you will go to hell if that's the case. And it's it's going it's elbow we are going hell because right now we have two different material and in those days it's about it's abominable god never agree with it right him forbid it and it's also talking about certain meat which now there's a pass grace into whatever you bless and eat but you know by wisdom still that you must be careful what you eat because you never take up a roach kill him and eat him but you do have people that does that but it's unclean it's unclean. You will know by the spirit that this is not a clean thing to eat. But those who chose to eat it, it only defiles them. It doesn't disconnect them from God. It doesn't. Now, if their motive is to eat it, to develop evil and all of that, then there's a disconnection because it has to do with the sprecament of the mind. Oh God, these, these are like a, a things I'm going to have to teach, but a whole lot of things. I'm just throwing some scripture and show you all right but i'm pretty sure bro you will never find that text that specifically outlines that a woman must not wear pants there's no scripture because the pants has a difference right we love gina jennings but many may agree upon that department not at all anybody say well god don't care what you agree your opinion me not nah, i mean not care either 
So you not care and me not care because if you don't have a specific evidence to show me the example then you're talking rubbish, right? You're speaking and the Bible said you must not add or subtract from the word of God. So if you go and, and say, the Bible said, oh, we're pants, woman. You're adding something because the Bible never pointed that out. He said, don't wear that which is pertinent to a man. Now you'd have to dice it now and find out what it, what is it? How did pants even came into existence? Who brought it? You know, who first start wearing it? All these things. And you'll never have evidence. So it will be something we're debating about, which is meaningless. So the, the conclusion to that part, bro, is that it's a pointless debate. It's a pointless debate. So I'd advise woman to dress like woman. Don't try to dress like man. And man must dress like man, not like woman. Just simple. No man, send it here. Because we're saying it publicly. I want all the persons here to see it. Send it here and know. From your, you have the evidence. You should be sharp enough to just spit it out. Just like I'm sharp enough to spit out and explain to you from the scripture. Show it right here. So right now, man. All right. The last man I can do tell me say I'm gonna look for something in my Bible. I'll know me no year back from it. <laughs> All right. So let us move on. I'm, I'm gonna give you six signs. One of the above is affecting you. I'm gonna give you six signs. You might want to write these down. Write these down. Six signs that you are affected. Or you might be affected by ancestral witch, witchcraft, or early occultism. Six signs are some of the ones that were named out in Deuteronomy. I'm going to give you six signs. If you're ready, just type ready. Oh my God, the time will fast. Eh? Oh God. Type ready if you're ready. Come on. Run the chat. Run the chat. Type ready. Type ready. Oh, them people are boring so man. Them not talk to me like them I learn something. Oh no boring so boring 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 boring. Sister Dina, you did it? Sister Newell, come on man, type ready, 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 ready. Me now move on till I type ready. Because I need to know that you are there and you're learning and you are learning some stuff. And your eyes are being opened to some stuff. And you're ready now to take the six nuggets I'm gonna give you and chew it up. Okay, that's one ready. That's two ready. Come now, we have six sound up on the, on, the, on the eyeball. So, give me the ready. Give me, give me two more ready, I'm a god. Two more ready. All right, one more ready. Just give me one more ready. Come, brother guard. I know you all look for your scripture, but send me one more ready. <laughs> one more ready. Okay, you're not going to find that scripture there tonight. <laughs> send me one more ready, bro. One more. One more ready. One more ready, 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 ready. Anybody else there? Give me a ready, no man. Give me a ready. All right. <clears throat> All right. So six signs, one of the above is affecting you. Number one, get your pen and your paper ready. Are you doing bad? Number one, no fruitfulness. Oh, Marvin Lee there. <laughs> Big up yourself, Marvin Lee. <laughs> no fruitfulness. That's number one. Number one sign that there is an ancestral witch in your life affecting you. Witchcraft or the occult one of which was named in Deuteronomy 18 verse 9 to 12 you may read it by yourself and pick them out underline them so you can know what is what <clears throat> the first one is no fruitfulness so no fruit now bearing in your life none things just stagnant yeah wonder what go on everything you put your hands to it just not multiply it, it, it that or maybe to have a struggle there's a point that I recognize that in my life. I'm realizing it's not me that is the problem, but something of my past from one of my ancestors, from one of my family, maybe from my mother's side or my father's side, but something's just not right. So, me have to tackle them. You can be honest. 
I'm gonna come on the line, come go on like everything, Chris and Curry. You know, say something not right. You know, say, no, say, no, some of you live. Things will be better than this. I mean, I say, me if you be rich and a millionaire and all of that. Well, it's that too. Because really and truly, probably some of you are supposed to be a millionaire already. Oh, man of God, you come to talk about millionaire. Oh, why it hurt you so much? I'm just saying. People don't like hear about these things in church. It shouldn't hurt you. Why, sh why should it hurt you to be successful? Why should it hurt to have a lot of money? Why should it hurt to become better in life? Why Christians make it look bad to be successful? Success is good. The church needs to be rich, wealthy, billionaire. The Bible says the wealth of the wicked is stored up for the righteous. So we need fear reap. So we not get them fruitful unless the, something is wrong. Something is wrong. Somebody type it. Type fruitfulness on me, please. As you type them, each one may move to the next one. When you work with me, you want to get you active. Type fruitfulness. So, if, you're, if you realize that there are some things that just shut down, something is wrong. You are supposed to be fruitful. You are supposed to, when you get your fruits, them them supposed to uh, multiply. Something fear happen. You shouldn't, as you get the little money, hit down. In a no time. You appear bills and in your pocket. And if something is wrong. It, it needs to be tackled. You need to start contest some demons in the hours of night. You need to start because and you provoke them now. Maybe as somebody for you did provoke them and now they might come at you. And maybe they might come at you just naturally. You need to approach them. So fruitfulness. Alright, thank you for typing that one. Good night, sister Dad. How you doing? The next one is barrenness. Number two. Number two Evidence or sign that an ancestral demon, an ancestral witch, or witchcraft, or the occultism is bothering you is barrenness. Barrenness. You are, you are, you are barren. What it means to be barren? Hmm? What it means to be barren? We need to look at that. Because I don't just want to give you the thing from my point of view on the and then you say yeah no, no eh so let us find what find out what it means to be barren hmm? too poor to produce much or any thing at all infertile unfruitful yeah waste or wasted unproductive Leaky, dismal, gloomy. That's what it means to be barren. It means that not not go on, did it? You not produce nothing. You are unproductive. You are the same place you were last year. No sir. All right, last year too soon. Ten years, five years, six years. You still live at the same place. Like I said last week, don't feel ashamed. Just know that so you need to approach it in the spirit realm. You need to contest these witches. You need to contest them because they're trying to kill you, your family, and to wipe you out. And you need to realize to shut down your productivity and to stop you from being successful. And me not going to allow that. Will you? Will you? Type the next one, man. Barrenness. So we can move to the next one. So you're unfruitful. Not na reproduce in your life. You invest money in a something and in a turnover, something not right. So, and you, you, you play all of your cards, then you do the right investment. You hustle, you walk in a hot sun, you do this, you do all of that. Unless you have management problem, you can't blame it. You, you, when you get everything corrected, but you realize that there's just still unproductivity, something funny I go on. Something funny are going on in your life. Some of your family members them did make some deal where you don't know about with some demons. With one of these things, with a necromancer, with a witch doctor, with something, and you're stagnant. Thank you very much. You're stagnant. 
It's like you can't move. It's like you're stuck between a rock and a hard place. But they can be contested. Because those collectors, they come and these are the things that they might come with. Because you know, pay, they might go cause these problems. So you know, I've got to make them one ever. Me make them deal here with you. We can't pay for what we never do. But they might go on paying you. So some diversion of go on. Number three, since you type it, let us move to number three. Number three, the number three sign that there may be an ancestral um, witch, witchcraft, or oh God. the number three reason why there may be an a, a, a ancestral witch, witchcraft, or, or occultism bothering you. This is the number three reason. Untimely or premature death. Say in your family, people are dead before time. Oh God, this one. People are dying before their time. It's a clear sign. This is a clear, 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 clear sign that there is a level of occultism or witchcraft in your lineage that needs to be broken untimely or premature death now let me let me explain that a little because they are not the same but they are also distinct and i got what you mean untimely or premature the same thing no they are distinct but they are not the same untimely death is when someone die before the time appointed then if he dead no appointed time back. no Man did make the dead when he was 80 something and the man ended up dead in my 13 year old. 18. He just turned 25 and dead. And you will know that it's untimely based on how he died. Never get to give life to Christ. Never get to fulfill certain things in life. You, you see what I'm saying? Untimely death. Premature death now is, you hear the word? Premature. It means it never even reached nowhere. Never reached nowhere. Maybe it's a man, maybe you just get your youth, vanish. Maybe it's a woman, you just get your child, vanish. It's premature. Maybe you just get the business as you open it today, next week in lockdown. Premature. It never even reach a mature state. Premature, meaning it never mature. It never reached a place to see if it ever accomplish its goal. I want to tell you tonight. That in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray that you'll wake up in the night and cancel some of these deals that your ancestors may have made. Cancel some of these problems. Destroy some of these forces of darkness. Premature death should be cancelled. Untimely death should be cancelled from your family in the name of Jesus Christ. It never reach. So you, it, it, it never get to reach to its full potential. It, it never reach nowhere. It no it no get where to get. It no have the substance. It no reach nowhere. He just gone. Maybe some of you have that experience now. Maybe you have that experience last week. Maybe a last year. Maybe you still ask the question. Then why my business mash up so quick? Why car mash up so quick? Why me try to go after the, the house and the land and just it just it just it, it, it me miss it in a work. Oh call Libaba Sanda Yadaba Hai. Why me why my son die so young? Why my daughter die so young? Why my mother die and me just born and she just 18 or 20? You see, these things premature. They never even reach their potential. You know how much people die and go back to the grave without accomplishing anything at all? Some people can't sing good and any of them with an artist. <laughs> they can't draw and any of them with an art artist. They, they can lay a black then and then and they realize that they're going to be a good carpenter. They, 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 they can operate business, then they, they're going to be a good eagle, a good business person. They never get to reach this because guess what? This spirit, your granny, 
maybe your great 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 let me go way back generation made something bad nobody in your family never break it so it's still a follow you ever know some people and you wonder lord god they look weird they <clears throat> them act weird weird and then it just look like everybody in their family poor everybody poor nobody not successful nothing not happen it's just pure it's just pure it's just pure um unfruitfulness it's pure barrenness untimely death premature death not 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 go on something is wrong something is wrong I want you to work the comment section, man. Like up the video. Press the like button. Press the like button. Press the like button. Only want somebody type untimely death. I want somebody to type premature death. And then we move to the next one. If you don't type it, me now move. I'm out of time. So we want everyone come out so we can go to bed. Right? <laughs> or whatever you're going to do after. So I want you to type it. Type it. Type it. Premature death. Type that one so I can move. Somebody always already type untimely death. Type premature death. All right, thank you. Premature day. Number four, sign that there may be an ancestral um, witch, witchcraft, or occult, occultism happening in your life that you are not conscious of. That I never you are the cause of it. Maybe I did you. Maybe I know you. But these are the sign. The next sign. Number four. Spirit of confusion. That's the next sign. A spirit of confusion. Hmm? And this is one of them that try to bother me. Lord, I should, me should I do that? No, me, me should do that. All right, me should I do that? No, sir, me not do that. All right, me go do that. No, me not gonna do that. <laughs> no, only me should believe this. Up. No, me not gonna believe this. Either. No, you know what? Me no, nobody wanna work there. You ever wanna work there? No, sir, I mean, I can't bother with that. No, I don't open that business. I'm not going to open that business. I'm going to do it. Maybe not the old soul. I hear mama do it. I hear daddy do it. I hear granny do it. Confusion. Confusion is a clear sign that somebody, maybe the generation in your family, did mess with the spiritual world and cut some deal with a witch or them practice some occultism. Something cause can, can the spirit of confusion not just come so. I'm telling you that. Study your Bible good. Everybody who encountered the spirit of confusion, and even when God allowed confusion to come upon the enemy, why did confusion come upon the enemy? Listen to the word enemy. It means that they were fighting something good. So confusion come up against them. You could be having confusion because the good in you, the bad doesn't want to see. So the bad part of you are going to fight the good part. That's why there is confusion in you. And that, oh, that only happened because somebody, maybe way down in your lineage, mess with the spiritual world and go practice some form of occultism, practice some form of witchcraft, or do something like that. Yes, man, I got no problem. Anywhere confusion lies, God is not in it. Yeah. Spirit of confusion. When I move lazy with the typing line, man. Why you type out the something, man? Spirit of confusion. I am declaring tonight that whatever spirit of confusion is bothering you, that in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you'll be free from it. Wake up in the night and pray bind witches and warlocks cover yourself cover your family as a matter of fact you need to break the curses break them break the generational curses break them break them break them break them they need to be broken i'm telling you the number five reason and the number five sign that 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 that, 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 that it may be a form of possibility that somebody miss with one of these things 
is bad luck. We call it bad luck, but the right word is misfortune. 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 Hmm? We call it bad luck. Uh -oh. That's what we call it. Misfortune is basically bad luck, as I said before. It's an unfortunate condition or event. Yeah. It's misfortune or bad luck is also what you call problem, difficulty, issue, trouble, setback, reverse. You were not... Now, let me repeat something I said earlier. It no must be witchcraft. It no must be obey. It no must be occult. That you may be going through a little storm. Because we all go through some storm. That's what the Bible said. When you go through the fire, I'll be with you. You know what? The reason why it's a truth reveal. Let me reveal revelation tonight. The reason why the Bible could speak like that. The reason why God could say that is because him knows that even him himself are going to allow you to go through storm. Because storms help you to know how to sail the ship. Yeah, problems help you to show how to navigate through life, and also problems help to show up what is really going on in your life, and even where this topic is concerned. When you say bad luck in your life, bad luck is not Christian, shouldn't say, Boy, I'm a lucky son. No, you're blessed, you're not lucky, you're blessed. Somebody type blessed, you're blessed, you're not lucky, you're blessed. Christians don't use the word lucky. Them use the word blessed. Stop walk around if you are Christian. Tell people, boy, me say me lucky more. Tell us, say me say me say me say. The sister came to ten thousand on me last time. I tell that really God use her. What a luck! No, that's a blessing. You're blessed. Unbelievers, they are the one who use luck. Misfortune or bad luck is the next sign when 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 maybe somebody in your family lineage had done something. I remember this breakdown is problem, difficulty, issue. And I said it's possible for you to have problem and not none of that and a witchcraft and occultism. So let me make sure balance it out before you say, Well, man, I got to tell me say reason why I have problem because some witch, so whatever. But to be sure, ensure that you break that curse as well. Because it's also a sign that it's a strong possibility that it's either witchcraft or the occult. And remember, as in, in the first part of the teaching, the occult can also come from the church you associate yourself with. I have to tell you that me not mean to create an enemy with the church. Me not, me not try to mess enough pastor. Then I really can't stand me already. Me not want them to vex me no more. That was for them vexing me. I'm, I'm just being honest with you. Me not try to act like me know more than nobody. Or me I try to teach like I'm, but I'm going to tell you the truth. You know I'm going to tell the truth. From the day you asked me about social media, I've always been honest about the truth. Yeah? Even about myself. I try to be honest. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, some of these churches that you go, they are practicing some stuff and they don't even know it. Some of them are aware of it. Remember, you don't suffer by things. You know you suffer by things you don't know. Church nothing in a barren. Barrenness. And the truth is there are some churches that is in barrenness. Church nothing be unfruitful. If it now grow numeric numerically, if it now increase financially if it now increase fruitfully i'm telling you is the people of me like this are dead out so something wrong that church need a true prophet <laughs> that that church needs to be shut down god never called a pastor or god called him but he do him one thing like Balaam wanted to do his own thing to go curse people for Bela. That some people them may call good, 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 but because them realize the church can make money, them gone astray. They may call it money for prayer. I sell um hand curt. Oh. Uh, I think we need to stop. Somebody tell me to stop and make me lock. I'm, 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 Sister Newell, Sister Seaton, make a log off. Make a log off here. 
I'm going to delete this video because somebody going to get at me. <laughs> I shouldn't say anything more, right? Let's say nothing more. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Yeah, I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to leave it alone. Should I leave it alone, guys, or should I say it? Should I leave it alone? <laughs> should I leave it alone, Lord, Lord, Lord? Should I leave it alone? Hey, oh, hey. <laughs> mm. Careful, we practice occult and don't realize because we like follow. So, Pastor Guru over there, sir, sell water so we, and we can read the Bible, say, man give man uncourage on certain things. It's not the giving of the uncourage. Is that the giving of the water the problem, you know? It's when you put a price on it. How you go to church and the pastor say, I sell you water. When the Bible buy it, we don't have to buy them back. It's a contribution, but you never say that. So we have to listen good, you know? When you, when you, when you go to the church and him say, um, I'm not selling the waters, we're only asking if you could give back a contribution, we'll buy more, we'll bless them. That's a different kettle of fish right here, different. And in some cases, you never need to ask if God lead you. And everybody needs to get an anointed water. It's not everybody get the same instruction. It's not everybody get the same solution. God spit in a one eye. Use mud bar one. Send one in a water for go bath himself. Right? Tell one to lift up in bed and walk. Yeah? One next one, he does touch. One next one, he blow. One next one, he speak. It's not everybody get it the same way. So why the whole church? You have to buy 10 cases of water for the whole church. And then drink it and they still have got your problem. Then if you drink it, God did tell the man of God, you know, should I work? You spend $5,000 upon one bottle of water. Man of God said, do it by faith. Don't watch under the water. Don't watch that you're paying for the water you're paying. <laughs> yeah. They're not telling us that you have pay, but I really pay. Sell cloth. Sell water. I'm going to say it. I don't care who want to get up there and say, but the Bible speaks of these things. Men use true. So that will mean we agree to. Objects can be used to create healing, deliverance, and all these things. But when you put a price on it, it becomes witchcraft. It becomes a cult. Because God no one involved in a nothing like that where money is concerned. You don't need to pay me to pray for you. You don't need to pay me to give you anointed water. If God give me that instruction, you'll get it. Man, I got to can pray for the water you give me. God never tell me that, sister. I have to be honest with you. What we just ask me to pray? Make you have to go answer like you're more holy. Like, like really? Me to tell us I'm more holy than you? Me to tell me I'm <laughs> I'm just telling you what I am not doing, what I wasn't instructed to do. It is that simple. Listen, we don't want to push your people in you know? We want to win soul because he that win the soul is wise. But at the same time, you have to be careful you compromise too much that you sell out your soul. Some church sell too much, then sell everything. We got church down to food. Me see people they don't want to have nothing they're hungry. And they would never, and all right, they must sell the food. All right, fine. You yeah, sell the food. You're selling the food. Me not talk about concert. That's a different thing. All right. One fundraiser event. Me not talk about that. Me not talk about church service, convention, and food cook. And then say five hundred dollar plate. My man slug him not have no money. And my man slug not have no money. Maybe even so, him little of an answer man. But he know if he come at church and slug him at the back. Give him a plate of food, man. For God's sake, give him a plate of food. So we are going into stuff and we are practicing witchcraft and I realize it. Man, I got always that witchcraft. Who is that witchcraft? What is witchcraft? Hmm? Can we go back and look at it again? I remember we'll go back and look at it. Witchcraft is the practice of magic, especially for evil purposes, the use of spells, right? In modern context, religious practice involving magic and infinity with nature, usually within a pagan tradition, bewitching or fascinating attraction or charm. 
And a lot of witchcraft is being practiced, but you don't know. You, the pastor do it, but in the know, in the aware, because to, in the, at certain level, he probably never did done being school yet, but Jim Gladviton pastor and just turn it quick and build a church and he, you like him so you go and your family go and you work and God bless it no problem but when these things is being unfold we put pride aside and we learn because to learn is important right anything that is practiced that is pagan and all these things are witchcraft God is not in it what is it it is something evil it is something abominable it is something against God's command you know what? Let me move on. We left, left the people them alone with them clatter and water. There's a specific man of God. Why you call him man of God if I something bad you have to say? Because I don't believe because you do something bad that doesn't make you a man of God. I believe you just lost your way or you gone divert. Balaam was a man of God. Or as being a man of God according to the Bible. I'm telling you, God communicated Balaam, gave him instruction. Balak came to Balaam because Balak knew Balaam was a man of God or is a man of God and asked him to come and curse the people then. Why? Because he knew Balaam of the power and that Balaam communicated with God. Because he communicated with God, he went and asked God if he could do that. And God said, no. But it still persists because what? Balak dropped the money back in front of him. And when the bag of money, the silver dropped before him, that happened. It, crazy things people do for money is the same thing Jude, Judas do, which we talk about Sunday God in church. Judas sold out Jesus for 20 pieces of silver. Money. If you check your scripture to, you see, um, wealth is so important because the Bible speaks of gold and gold is so important. Matter of fact, let me tell you something. Gold give worship to God. So gold can either be, either be bad or it can use to do good. Then use the gold to build a golden calf, a golden image. Bad light. It becomes bad. That's why I said, uh, I was saying to my brother earlier, it's the sprecament of the mind. It's what you do. It's how you do it. It's how you go about it. What you do? Do man a wear her pants and she bunks like a man and she cut it up like a man and drop it under her bottom. You are a man, baby love. Act like a woman. The sprecament of the mind has changed. It might become carnal. Different from when you dress normal. Move away from that. Now, the sprecament of the mind where, 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 where these things are concerned are things that needs to be taken in consideration. So goal is very important to God. But some use it to build golden calf and do evil stuff. So God have to to, to, to destroy, have to deal with them according to how they deal with him, where that is concerned. But it was the same God who said that the, the heaven is built, is the city of gold. The city of gold. City of gold. The city of gold. Hmm? My father is a millionaire. I'm stepping on gold. It was the same gold that they used to build the heart of the covenant. Gold. It was gold that, that Solomon used to help build the temple that he built. When God asked him, where he want? He said, I don't want, just want wisdom. Enough. And God said, boy, you could ask the money and things. So I'm going to give you more than just wisdom. I'm going to give you that and I'm going to give you more. I'm going to make you have enough to build the temple or whatever. And this is what you do it. And it was built by gold as well. I could go on and on and on. I could go on and on and on. Remember to give the video a like. Give it a like. Like it up. Like it up. The more traction it get, somebody will listen it, watch it and all of that and, you know, whatever. And share it. If only the gospel you preach would go viral because this needs to be heard over the entire world. But the false prophets entirely have built blind blinded the eyes who truly wants to follow Christ that's a good question 
it was the same thing I opened in my opening statement to say. I always open with that. Sometimes people may say, why you have to always open with that? Everybody has their different call. And all of that. That's what they say. The, re the truth is, I'm going to tell you the truth. We all don't have a different call. We all were chosen differently, not called. Many are called. Few are chosen. Yeah, but if you can't be a pastor, be a prophet. When I say, I'm telling you the same thing. Same thing. We were called to preach the gospel. There is no other. Listen, listen, listen to the Bible. The Bible said that if an angel come and preach any other gospel other than that of Jesus and the apostle, we must mark him as a curse. So how a prophet is going to come and preach something different from what the Bible says? How? Tell me. It cannot be. And it's a put a difference between holy and unholy and stuff like that. You know, it, it, it's not different call. It's the same call. We were all called to preach the gospel of Jesus. We were called to set the captive free. We were called to heal the sick, you know, and do these things. However, many are called. Few are chosen. Some of us are set apart for particular things. You know, means that we're special than nobody else. It just means that we have some 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 target things that God would want you to do specifically. But it's the same gospel we are preaching. It's the same work of God that we are doing. You just have a different um, um, chosen criteria, mandate to carry out the same gospel, same baptism, same everything. It's just that you did get a little bit more of the healing ministry. Me get a little more of the prophetic ministry, or the teaching ministry. Because I'm very rich in the teaching ministry. I'm telling you that. Very, very rich. Verse in the word. I'm telling you that. But there are people out there that is more versed than me. There are some people who just tell the scripture and everything from their head while me have to take time to search. Back and say, oh, I know somewhere that I say, I know. I, I, which part I get, you know? All right. So, the last one, the last sign that you may be affected by an ancestral witch, witchcraft or occultism is no abundance. No abundance. Mm -mm. No abundance. No abundance. That's the number um, six. That's the last one. What abundance mean? Abundance mean a very large quantity of something. Yeah? It means that it is a rush. It's a flood. Yeah? It's prosperity. It's wealth. It's comfort. So when you get an abundance of something, you have an abundance of wealth, etc. That, 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 that. But, when it's no abundance, it means you don't have no wealth. You don't have no quantity of nothing. You know, 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 have a rush of blessing by you. You know, prosper. Something wrong. Some witchcraft thing I go on. Some occultism will practice from way back in your farm. Something not right. You know, just so, so, so. And maybe in your family can somebody send it to. But being that we are dealing with ancestral, we don't want to talk about what people are doing. And next time we teach about the wickedness of people. <laughs> you understand? Know, something like that. We are talking about your ancestor. And that we are talking about. We should even not talk about all the pastor them, right? We need to teach more at a separate time. And you see, through me out of time, we're just going to move to the last thing I want to touch. And it's a scripture. Right? Or the two last thing. Isaiah chapter 60. Run good here. As I'm so way out of time, but I think I'm going to need more time for truth reveal because it's too deep and I can't rush it. All right. I'm going to show you some things. I'm going to explain to you as I read along. Isaiah 60, 
reading from verse 1. Listen. It says, Arise, shine, for thy light is come. So, I just give you six things. Six things that there may be some ancestral witch, witchcraft or occultism bothering your life now, in the future, present tense. Present and present tense. Meaning that it, it, it did it and it did it and you need to recognize and cut it off. Now, the opposite to all of these things that I just outlined to you, the things that you are supposed to be getting is what I'm going to read now in Isaiah 60. So you are going to want to write down Isaiah chapter 60, write it down and you need to read it daily for now. Just go and read it. Look for it. Start declaring it over yourself. Whatever. I'm going to get into it. 60, verse 1. Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Arise. Mm -hmm. Arise and what? For what? A shine. Arise, shine. When you, when you are shining, you're in the dark. In the darkness, not the you're glowing, you're bright. Shine, for thy what? Thy light is come, and thy glory and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Two, for behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen upon thee. So he said the darkness shall do what? Cover the earth. I mean, I need to argue with nobody about that. Because if you talk, them say, if a man of God, if you talk by faith, because you have people. I remember I was commenting on something on the radio because they have a text line and I say Lord of birds, you don't make me a love me a drive, but you don't make me meet an accident you know, I was only saying that not with the intention that, and I, and I end the statement by saying, God forbid it <laughs> but the, one of the guys on the radio them couldn't wait, you know oh the Lord rebuke that the Lord sometimes you just too, you never know what to say I don't want to say too religious to this. I want to say, listen before commenting. Now, if in a, in a day of time that Jesus did that, Jesus a part with a man like that. And he made certain statements. Then when I rebuke him, when he said, I'm going to die, but in three days I'm going to rise again. <laughs> he would have said, the Lord rebuke. I say the same thing Peter do, you know. And Jesus said, so get thee behind me, Satan. Maybe I should have said to the man from the radio, man, get thee behind me, Satan. <laughs> because you're misquoting me. You're misquoting me. Because I never meant that I'm going to crash and die. That's why I said, God forbid. It was meant to be a statement because of the joke that they give. And I was driving. And I said, man, I don't let me lose focus. <laughs> Anyhow, moving along. But the Bible says here, the darkness shall cover the earth. Darkness shall cover the earth. So, let me make your pastor tell you about come a prayer meeting, let me go pray. We are going to do 100 man walk. God, God may be careful on my attack. 100 man walk in Spanish town. We have to do 200 man walk, 10,000. So, I'm something I hear, he's not up on the radio. And I'm saying, and people still are dead. We are walk for people still. You need to stop. Go to you, them. Go to him already. Has him gone. Your past is him, darling. Gone. You go to him and say, Brother, I'm not judging you. Know. I'm not saying nothing but you are gone. God love you here. God love you. So, why you don't do it, man of God? Anybody who knows me knows him is a brave better, brother. <laughs> Those who know me need to type and say, true him attack and a lie matter. Don't afraid to approach anybody. This doesn't mean that I'm going to make problem with people out of lack of wisdom. Because wisdom is the principal thing and it built a strong house. I'm telling you. But when you have the boldness of God on the inside of you, you know you don't left people on the way inside. So 100 man this, this, that, that. You know all these things. Why is so many people still dying? Why that a happen? Why this a happen? It tells you that you cannot pray out Bible. You can't out pray what God says. You cannot disallow what God allow. So you're saying God allow people to dead. You're saying God allow 
Ben Wallace ever put it. God has him finger ten times, a hundred million times bigger than mine. All my go so snap and Europe goes so and even then just goes a bloop. But it's a reason why he hasn't done that. God wants people to submit to him, believe in him. When you submit to him and believe in him, they will show you the things that will happen. So you can be free from the witchcraft. So you can be free from the, 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 the occultism and all of these wicked practices. Oh, glory to God in heaven. Somebody know why I hear this. He said, but the Lord shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen upon thee. The glory of God will be seen upon you in the midst of a dark world, in the midst of a wicked generation. The glory of God, the Bible said, will be seen upon you. How that happen? It happened when you give your life to God. It happened when you submit to him. It happened when you believe only upon him. I need to stop because I feel like more preach and we belong out of time. Oh, we need to feel like this in Sunday service. So I love the raw word because it always ignites the fire in me. It's not about me coming online like, like other persons do and tear up me. I know where I am going. Come on, church. Come on. It's the word of God that ignites me. I love music. Everybody know because I do music. I put out video. I have tracks and all, a lot of me digital platform. And all. It's not about the music. It's about the word of God. That's why the gospel not being in a song that is called gospel song is not a gospel song. It's just a positive song. Know the difference. Me do positive songs. When I put the gospel in. It's just positive song. If you encourage a youth out there or something. Because sometimes they know all this. You just put them, skip it. Watch this. He said, And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and the kings to the brightness of thy rising. Just bear with me. Because we know we're out of time. Bear with me, please. Lift up thine eyes around about. Round about and see all they gather themselves together. They come to thee. Thy sons shall come from far, and thy daughters shall be nursed at thy side. Five. Then thou shalt see the flow together, and thine heart shall fear and be enlarged because the abundance of the sea shall be con converted unto thee. The forces of the Gentiles shall come unto thee. Mm -hmm. the, the multitude of camels shall cover thee. The, the drum, the, the what? The drum made durries of Midian and Epa. All they from Sheba shall come. They shall bring gold and incense, and they shall sway for the praises of the Lord. Oh my God, watch this. All the flocks of Kedar shall be gathered together unto thee. The rams of Neboat shall minister unto thee. They shall come up with acceptance on mine altar. And I will glorify the house of, of what? Of my glory. It, who are these? That fly as a cloud, as the doves to their windows. Oh, goodness, I go on and on. Just follow me nearby. Nine. Surely the isles shall wait for the, for me, and the ships of Tarshish first to bring thy sons from far, their silver and their gold with them, unto the name of the Lord thy God, and to the Holy One of Israel, because what he had glorified me thee rather and the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls and their kings shall minister unto thee watch a man for in my wrath i smote thee but in my favor have i had mercy on thee and in a new testament god have mercy god have mercy from long time so the problem I'm going to say something that may seem weird but the only way you're going to prove some of the weird things that I say is when you sit down meditate through wisdom and look into life and you'll see that Apostle Campbell is telling you the truth your church may not tell you the truth I'm going to be honest or they may not be entirely true 
because everybody have them little mission. Some are money mission, some are popular popularity mission, different different mission. I don't want to be popular. I want to be known by a lot of people. Oh man, I got you know if you want to be. Of course, I should want to be known. Why not? Now some people are gonna hear the word. Me, I be honest and I tell you, well, another one I'm gonna tell you, me not want to be popular. I mean, I want to do so. We are preach like that for them. Tap. Just go minister to one somebody. Nobody be the pastor. Because once you are a minister, that may come. You must know how to deal with it. Don't let it get to your head. Don't go no and start scam people. Don't go no and start put a price upon the gospel and do these things. Then you become a witch worker and a culter. He said, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. Let me move on. Therefore, thy gates shall be open continually. They shall be, they shall not be shut day nor night. That men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. And that their kings may be brought. The enemy can't have anything over you. When you approach and you go in the realm of the spirit and unplug some of these things that your ancestors may planted or people are trying to do to you or whatever it is, since God has led me, let me just overhaul it. You were blessed. I'm telling you, yes, this, I wanted to give a, 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 a truth revealed a while ago and I miss it. So let me come back to it because I'm so excited. Let me tell you something. You're not having a sin problem. I don't care what you do. Last night. Watch this revelation. It's going to be so beautiful. You might have got to type it when we release it. When the Holy Spirit releases it through me rather. You are not having a sin problem. Because you know what your struggle is. Whatever sin you practice, whatever you do, you know it, you're aware of it. Says so you not have that problem. The problem you're having is a godly recognition problem. You are seeing your sin so much that you cannot see God. That you are not seeing God. Why is it oh glory to God? We need to log off. Why is it so easy for us to see bad? And it is so hard to see good. Why it's so easy to complain and say, Boy, I may suffer, not now go on, but you can't see. Me wake up this morning, oh my God, make it to the next opportunity. We get rid of suffering. Jesus. Why is it so easy to see say, so much people are fight against you? But it's so hard for you to say, one little brother try to push up himself in your life. Why it's so easy to see all of who are pray against you, but it's so hard for you to see the one somebody we are pray for you and I tell you the truth, but you ain't telling the truth so much time. You know what I hear from him? You can't stand the one where I tell you the truth. You have to listen to the liar. Why? Why we always see the thing back way instead of forward? Why it's so easy to look backward? It's well, the same thing with Lot and his wife. And the little chukumens them women in a power with them couldn't see forward. All them all them saw was backward. I am here tonight to declare to you that you shall not be seen backward all the time. You will see forward. In a matter of fact, you will see backward no time at all. You will see forward. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May your eyes be open. May you see the glory of God. May you see the blessings of God. May you see open doors and not shut doors. Unless God shut them. Twelve. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Are, are you going to talk to you? Know? Are you going to talk to you? Yeah. Those nations shall be utterly this. Oh, you can't imagine. God has destroyed people for you. All the people that will chat about Pastor Campbell in a bad way, me no need to pay them no mind. When you see something happen to them, we don't rejoice either because on our place to do that. We don't rejoice over man fall. Never you rejoice over a man fall because you never know when you may fall. So don't rejoice over a man fall. Don't rejoice when men 
falter because you don't know which the every dog of them be. And no matter how good you are, something bad can happen to you. We are not declaring that it should. We are saying that it could. And if it does, you don't want to be in the place where you did laugh off of a man when it fall. I'm telling you that. Don't laugh or criticize or put down a man when he fall. Pray for him. Pray for him. Pray for him. Pray for him. Do not laugh and cheer man when him fall. And don't be quick to see it either. However, a person who go against you, who criticize you and put you down, say you are you are obi a man and you are a witch because you pray and you kind of weird and because you love God and then say you're too holy and them say all kind of bad things about you. Them tarnish you, them spread propaganda upon you, them try to tell lies upon you, them try to do all kind of wickedness against you, them try to put you down. Listen what God says. He said, For a nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. If they not honor you, then we perish. And that God will leave with it. You don't need to do them. Man. You don't need to touch them. If they are not doing what God want them to do concerning you, they will go down. God said, if man ain't like, go and give him ten million dollars. You better do it. Can you have it? You know you have it and improvise it and give it to you. But me not like him, God. God not, I don't care about that. Me tell if you go do it. So me will teach you how to love him. Me will teach you how to like him. Me will teach you how to want be a part time. You should not want to, 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 to bring him down. And I'm gonna say it again. Do not laugh when man fall. Do not celebrate when man fall. Because you don't know when you may fall. You don't know when you may falter. Don't laugh when man fall. Pray when man fall. And if you can encourage him or her, encourage him. Don't laugh when man fall. Don't rejoice when man fall. It is the job. It is the job. It is the job of God to bring down a man who he seeks to bring down. It's not our job. For the nation and the kingdom that will not serve thee. Serve who? You know. You. Yeah. Those nations shall, shall utterly be wasted. That's what God says. There are people out there that, will, that should be serving you. That should be bigging you up. That should be lifting you up. That should be celebrating you. That should be encouraging you. That should be having your back. That should be really, 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 really motivating to you. And if they are not, and if them only use that time to put you down, to criticize you, to say bad things about you, to say, to, to, to spread propaganda on you and to, you know, do all kind of wicked things, God will deal with them. You don't need to do that. You don't need to do anything. 13. The glory of Lebanon shall come unto thee. The fire, the fire tree, the pine tree, and the box together, the beauty, to beautify the place of my sanctuary. May I read so fast because of time. And I will make the place of my feet glorious. Oh, God, glory to God. 14. The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come binding unto thee. Sorry, bending unto thee rather. And all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet. And they shall call thee the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Let me tell you something. Your enemy will bow to you. Man, I got a people are my enemy. Well, I've come to the realization that people can be your enemy because they contracted an enemy spirit on the inside of them. So now that needs deliverance. So them are come about you. When them come about to you, deliver them in the name of Jesus. Don't laugh at them. Don't put them down. Deliver them. Love them. Help them. Help my enemy. Am I preaching Bible here? It said you must feed your enemy and clothe them and give them water for drink and do good. Do good for them. Yeah, and while me I do that, them cut off my head and kill me. You name God while you, while man a plan, God a wipe. You need to do good and God will focus on the good you do and protect you. I think I need to stop and I need to delete this video because it's too rich and you all are not appreciating it.
I'm just saying. Maybe you are. You know what? I'm sorry. You are. Go ahead. Share it. Like the video. Please play, press the like button. Press it. Press it. Press it. Just a few more verses. I am so way over time, but this is so rich. 15. Whereas, though has been forsaken and hated, so that no man went through thee, right? I will make thee an ex eternal excellency, a joy of many generations. So instead of what your ancestors do, what the witch doctor do, what the, the, the occult family member where you have way back way back in your generation they do you can break that and guess what God is saying God said what you shall be an eternal excellency the feel away here some people been called excellency some of them deserve it some don't hmm? you shall be a joy of many generations thou shall also suck the milk of the Gentiles Remember now, the Gentiles are the one that were always acting against God. And the Israelites are the chosen one. Now the Israelites, the chosen generation, shall do what? Suck the milk of the wicked ones. Glory to God. You were meant to reap the money of the wicked. The wealth of the wicked were stored up for you, the righteous. Why the wicked man have more than you were in the church and serve God? Hmm? Why do I drive nice I care that you welcome some of them a scammer? Differently from that. Hmm? Why the man who not submit him life to God or anything can work a bank and be a big bank teller? Forget about the negative part. He just now serve God and not give life to God. Him out there, he might got dance, he might do wicked things, all kind of wickedness. Don't get me wrong, people who go to dance and all that, I'm not saying that they are just speaking and them them no God none at all. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying they can they can come to God and all that. But they haven't repented yet, which means they're on the other side. So why is it that them get all of the good things that were you should, supposed to get? It means that something is wrong with some of us Christians. We think we are good, but we're not good. Some of the worst set of people I've ever met in my life is church people. Uh oh. Take a time for me to start now. Don't. <laughs> Some of the worst people you'll ever find is church people. I have to get that out. And, and shalt suck the breast of kings, and thou shalt know that I, the Lord, am thy savior and thy redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob. For brass I will bring gold, and for iron I will bring silver, and for wood. I just explained to you about the gold. Let me skip past that. Violence shall be, shall no more be heard in thy land, wasting nor destruction within thy borders. But thou shalt call thy walls salvation, and thy gates praise. Let me tell you something. This is not talking about an overall land, like say because you come from Jamaica. You might talk about the whole land. The crime and violence are going to be there. All kind of things are going to happen. The borders, look at it from a spiritual perspective. Borders mean your circle. You maintain a godly circle, in your circle will be protection. In your circle will be greatness. The sun shall be what? No more thy light by day, neither for brightness shall the moon give light unto thee, but the Lord shall be unto thee an everlasting light, and thy God, thy glory. How bright you're going to see. You know, matter if the sun is shine. A man will try to kill you in the physical dark, but you see him in the spiritual. Whoop! He get destroyed before him. Wonder how you dance. How you, how you see now see me physically. But you destroy me. Me destroy you in the spirit, brother. I think next week I'm going to talk about dreams. And then some people can share some dreams. And I help you interpret them. I think I want to talk about dreams next week. Because some of you don't even know when you enter into dreams, you enter in spiritual worlds. I'm going to talk about that next week. Thank you, Lord, for that. You can read the rest, you know. But I'm showing you the things that you are supposed to get. And 22 said, A little one shall become a thousand, and a small one, a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten it in his time. Ah, may you open your eyes. May you be blessed. 
Let me close by saying this. Blood also is very important. It's very potent. You have to be careful which blood you get involved in. If you check the Bible back in the days when the women were on their menstrual, their period, their bloody cycle, they couldn't partake of certain things. They couldn't do certain things. It shows that blood symbolizes something. I need to teach about blood another time. Because we're out of time. And that part just troubles you because you want to hear me know. But blood is very important. Very potent. But I'm going to have to teach that at a separate time as well. Dreams, blood. Now I remind me. I hope one of my people remind me. But you have to know the, the importance of blood. And how it can affect you. And how it can make you. And how it can break you. That sort of a thing. Oh God, this is deep. But now you understand a little about the ancestral spirits, witch, warlock, and all these things. May you open your eyes tonight. May you be blessed. Can we pray? Can we pray? Can we pray? Oh, glory, glory, glory. Can we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for tonight. We bless your mighty name. We honor you, God. We thank you for revelation. We thank you for the truths that have been revealed to us tonight. Truth, through to you. Understanding about ancestral spirits, ancestral witch, witchcraft, witch doctors, the occultism world, the spiritual world with darkness, Astrologers, time readers, chanters, charmers, necromancers, wizards, all these things, magicians are concerned God, we thank you for helping us to open our eyes. We have heard a little about this, but we have never gotten this in-depth teaching. Some of us may have gotten this in-depth teaching, but we, we forget. Father, whatever it may be, I'm asking you, Lord, let this teaching be planted in our Some of us may not be focusing so much to get the richness of this. Lord, help us. You said you will brought back everything to our remembrance. Tonight, I am praying to you, God. Let us not be ignorant of the devil's devices. Father, I pray that if they watch Netflix, let them be wise. If they listen to something, let them be wise. If they, if they partake of something, let them, let them be wise to know what you are a part of, what you are not a part of. What you do, what you don't do. So that they don't practice what they see, what they hear, and what they feel. Let us not be ignorant, God. You said that we must be in the world, but we must not be of the world. Meaning we don't practice the things the world do. Father, help us, God, to be strong in the name of Jesus. Help us, mighty God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, I pray for that one. Maybe their great, 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 great grandmother or father. Maybe they have some form of ancestors that used to practice witchcraft, used to practice obia, soothsayer, whatever it may be. In the name of Jesus, tonight we break in the name of Jesus those fetters. We break those chains in the name of Jesus Christ. We nullify them in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, we set them right now free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray that they will wake up in the hours of the night to contest demons, to tear down spiritual, spiritual forces of darkness from the underworld, from the dark world in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the power of the living God rest upon Rest upon, rest upon us in the name of Jesus. Lebron de Bekesika Tamanda da Bahai, Lebron da Bakasata. Lord, we tear down every demonic altar, everything in the name of Jesus Christ. We tear down the candles that have been lit for evil purposes in the name of Jesus Christ. Every bad pan, every basin, everything that is set up with water for the wrong purpose, God, let it be set up for the right purpose to bathe, to drink, or even to give good things in, in the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ, but not to practice witchcraft, not to practice.
practice occultism, not to practice uh, any form of necromancy. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we break them down now. Lebron de Pekesikata, Manda da Bahai, Ropoko Sata, Lepre de Peketo, Ropokoto, Ripekesi and Dada Bahai. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that man that is watching me now, that woman that is watching me now, in the name of Jesus on this line, I pray for them, I pray for their family, I pray God that you run through the bloodline and unplug in the name of Jesus. Lord, that they will not be fooled into buying anointed cloth and anointed water and anointed this or anointed that but to receive it freely in the name of Jesus as the word of God said freely you give freely you shall receive let the pastors be the pastors of the church and not witch doctors oh, glory to God glory to God not people who sell out everything in the name of Jesus sell out the pulpit sell out the things that is supposed to be given Lord when you threw the mud in the man's eyes to be healed, you didn't, you didn't tell him to pay for it. When you send the man into the, the river to be you, you didn't, you didn't tell him to pay for it. When you pray for the sick girl, the sick little girl, you didn't ask the father to pray for it. When they tear out the roof and send down the sick, you never tell them pay before man bahai. Glory to God in the name of Jesus. Help us to hope in our eyes in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, may our eyes be open. 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 Because we have eyes, but we are not seeing, ears, not hearing, nose, not smelling. We have a skin, but we are not feeling. Help us, God, to tap into the spirit that we can see in the spirit, feel in the spirit, smell, taste, everything in the spirit realm. Lepros kete bahai, lepron da pakaba to shata, makoto repeke si katakadapa. I pray for that specific woman and her daughter. She know herself. I pray for her. That sad news. I pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I won't call any name. Ah, God, for secrecy's sake. But I pray for her. She's she know herself she you are you're here i pray for you in the name of jesus i pray that the lord will grant you grace favor in the name of jesus christ of nazareth glory to god and your loved ones and that specific one that you are connected to that is having a sad moment i pray that the lord will comfort uh, that person now in the name of jesus lord i cancel everything else in the name of jesus and i break that spell and I break that curse in the name of Jesus. La proskete paka. Ropo koto ripikete. Makoto rapapa. Ripaka sata. Ripit apart in the spirit now. I break it loose in the name of Jesus. Young lady be free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That the next time around that happened when it happened. And God's timing. God's way. The right way. That the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth will grant you the desire of your heart where that is concerned in the name of Jesus Christ. Every sickness that is from ancestral spirit, everything from the demonic world that is afflicting you, your money, your account, your whole soul, everything that you're working for, everything in the name of Jesus, we shut them down. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord. We bless your name and we honor you and we tell you thanks. In no other name I pray, but in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. La Broska Tapakai. Lebron Nebekesa. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The Lord bless you tonight. I hope and trust that you were blessed. And I pray, God, that you learn something tonight. And that you will not let it go in vain. But you will utilize what you have learned. God bless you tonight. This is where I say good night. The Lord loves you. I love you. But God loves you best. Blessings.